Why would you bypass a car heater core? Well, for starters, this is obviously not something your car manufacturer is going to sign off on. But people find themselves in this situation, usually because they've got a leaking heater core. Now let's break down the effects of doing the automotive equivalent of bypass surgery on your car's heater system. First off, the heater core is like a mini radiator. It uses the hot coolant from your engine to warm up your car's interior. When you bypass it, say goodbye to toasty drives during those chilly Portland winters. Your defroster won't work correctly either, which, let me tell you, is not fun when it's frosty out. Then there's the issue of the car's cooling system. It's designed as a closed loop. The heater core is part of that loop. By passing it, you're also altering the flow and pressure within the system. This can potentially affect your engine's cooling efficiency. While I've not seen many horror stories from this, in theory, it could shorten the life of your water pump because you're changing the dynamics the pump was designed to handle. Finally, there's cabin comfort. Without a heater core, those beloved road trips to the Oregon coast can become pretty uncomfortable in the colder months. Forget about just bundling up. That's a quick fix that doesn't always cut it when you're stuck in traffic on the I-5. In all fairness, people bypass the heater core as a temporary fix, usually because they can't afford the repair just yet. But long term, it's not recommended. The heater core plays a role that goes beyond just making you comfortable. It's an integral part of your car's climate and coolant system. Sure, you might save some bucks in the short term, but it's often better to bite the bullet and fix the problem properly, especially before the true Oregon rain and cold sets in. Your future self, wrapped up in a warm car cabin and seeing through a clear windshield, will thank you.